To determine if CBR4 is polar or nonpolar, we'll look at the Lewis structure. This tells us the distribution of valence electrons around the molecule, and it helps us determine the shape and the polarity. So here's the Lewis structure for CBR4. You can see those four Br atoms around that central carbon. It looks pretty symmetrical, but what we really need to do is look at this in three dimensions. So we need to think about how those Br atoms are going to repel each other, spread out, and give the CBR4 molecule its shape. That'll look something like this. This is CCL4, which is very similar to CBR4. In fact, the shape is the same. We can see the central carbon, that gray, and then the bromines, those would be the green. You can see they're all spread out. They're as far away from each other as they possibly can be. We're still having this bond here to the central carbon. The bond between the bromine and the carbon, that would be polar. There's a difference in electronegativity. But because we have four of them, and they're all in opposite directions, for the entire molecule, there is no net dipole. There are no areas of charge around the molecule that are unequal. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we can see that. So this shows us the surface really where the charge is felt around the molecule. And you can see it's a uniform color. There's no difference in charge. Because of that, there's no net dipole, there's no poles, and we have a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B with the polarity for CBR4, and thanks for watching.